Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to highlight a report out of Korea that talks about Samsung's foundry business and the progress they've made on their third generation 3 nanometer node, aka SF2. The company's initial yield from this technology looks to be around 30%, and reports say that if they're able to get this to around 60%, then the Galaxy S26 series will most likely opt for the Exynos 2600 chip instead of what Qualcomm has to offer. If you're not familiar with what has been going on with Samsung's foundry business, then that's completely understandable. The company usually has an Exynos chipset ready for their next Galaxy S series, and they use this in-house chip in most regions around the world. We do still see them opting for the Qualcomm flagship for phones that are sold in North America and a few other countries, but the rest of the world gets their in-house chipset. And the Exynos 2500 that they had planned for the Galaxy S25 series had a very poor yield, even all the way up to the release of their flagships this year. The latest report said Samsung was only able to get around 20% yield of the Exynos 2500. Which means when they fabricate those silicon wafers that you see, which look like this, only about 20% of it was able to be used inside of a phone. And the other 80% had to be thrown out for one reason or another. So, in this new report, we have learned that Samsung's foundry and LSI divisions have been pouring resources into developing the Exynos 2600 and the work seems to have paid off as the initial yield for these chips are said to be at 30% as of recording this video. Samsung wasn't able to get anywhere near this level toward the end of the development cycle with its last Exynos chip. So things are looking promising since this is only the initial batch. The company has the first half of this year to improve things as they are currently scheduled to go into mass production during the second half of 2025. Samsung has even released a statement confirming the development of the Exynos 2600 is cruising and they are optimistic that they are on schedule to bring the chip to market. Now, while this is good news for Samsung themselves, I know there are going to be some within the Android community who are sad to hear this information. Exynos doesn't really have the best reputation among many enthusiasts because of its performance in comparison to recent Snapdragon chips. But there have been times when the Exynos flagship SoC outperformed what Qualcomm was able to produce. And this advancement could even procure a few customers for Samsung, as TSMC has been increasing the price of its chips due to extremely high demand. Now, on the other hand, if Samsung is unable to get a viable yield out of the Exynos 2600, then it could be lights out for at least one division over at Samsung. It's been said that the company is currently losing over $650 million each quarter due to the issues they've been having recently. And if they're unable to figure things out again this year, then the board may end up forcing Samsung to shutter more than one of its businesses. But I want to hear what you all think about this impressive Exynos 2600 yield that has been reported. Are you happy to see more competition within the Android chipset industry? Or would you rather see Samsung sticking with Qualcomm or MediaTek chips? Please remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android news content like this.